In this video, I want to talk about a technique called begin with the end in mind. And it's a very useful technique. The thing is, in life, in business, in just about anything, you need to figure out how you're going to get from where you are, here, to where you want to go, there. And you need to plan out the route. The only trouble is, if you don't know where there is, well, you could go anywhere. You could go all over the place and you could not reach the destination that you want. You could miss it completely. That's why you need to know where you're going to go. That's why you have to begin with the end in mind. So a good technique is to actually start with the end, with the goal that you want to accomplish. You want to start there and then you want to work your way back to here. That's uh, a very good technique. And the thing is, you probably use this technique already. You just don't realize it. Now, let's say you're in a strange city and you don't have sat nav. You don't know your way around. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at a map and you want to find two places on the map where you are and where you want to go. And because where you want to go is the last place that you're going to find, chances are you're actually going to work back from where you want to go to where you are at this very moment. Now, let's say you're like the two women in the last slide and you're in New York City and you need to find your way around. Let's say you're outside Bloomingdale's, which is here on East 59th Street, and you want to get to Rockefeller Plaza. Well, first thing you're going to do is you're going to look up on the map and you're going to see where Rockefeller Plaza is, which is over here. And then you're going to work out the best route from um, where you are at Bloomingdale's to Rockefeller Plaza. And you're probably going to do it by going backwards. You're going to go up Fifth Avenue. You're going to go along here up uh, East 57th Street and probably here on Lexington Avenue. Then you'll turn again and then up here to East 59th Street uh, where you'll find Bloomingdale's. So you do this all the time in real life anyway. So how can you apply this in your life? Well, let's say you want to do something that lots of people want to do. Let's say you want to buy a new house. So the goal is buy a new house and move in. So let's start with that. Let's start with that end goal, buy a house and move in. Well, what are you going to need to do before you can buy a house and move in? Well, unless you're fabulously wealthy or you've just come into a large inheritance, chances are you're going to have to apply for a mortgage and get approved. And in order to apply for the mortgage, there's two things that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to save for a deposit because not many places will lend you 100% anymore. So you need to build up a nice pot of cash that you can put down as a deposit for the mortgage, and that will increase your chances of getting approved. But along with that, you're also going to need to build up good credit. And because getting good credit means you actually borrow money and then pay it back plus interest, it's hard to actually do that and save up at the same time. So you will need to build up your good credit so that you have the good credit, then you can start putting the money aside for the deposit, then you can apply for the mortgage, and then you can get approved, and then you can buy the house and move in. And of course, in order to get good credit, you need to get a good, well-paid job. So you can see here now, we've got all the steps in a row. You need to get a good, well-paid job, you need to build up good credit, you need to save for the deposit, apply for the mortgage and get approved, and then buy the house and move in. So you can see how you've got all the steps. But because you've worked backwards from your goal, from the end to the beginning, you know which step you need to take and in which order. Because you can see 
what steps you are going to need to accomplish before you actually get to the step that you want. So again, you don't need to sort of set off in a vague direction of what you want. You actually know what you're going to get first, and then this, and then that, and then that, and so on, all the way along until you actually achieve your goal. Now, beginning with the end in mind comes from The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. And if you haven't read this, uh, I strongly recommend that you get a copy of it and read it through. It talks about beginning with the end in mind and six other very good habits that successful people can get into. Uh, as you can see, you can pick up a copy from Amazon and other good bookstores, and it's well worth a read. But you'll find, as you begin with the end in mind and work back towards where you are, your road to success will become a whole lot smoother.